And Greg, take a look at this one here tonight. The clash at the guard positions really stands out. No question about it. Both teams rely heavily on their backcourts to get it done. And I'm interested to see which backcourt brings it tonight. Now the starting group for the visitors. We've got the captain. It's Najee in at the foursome. The drive-by ball. Outside, Bain. Four on the shot clock. Rebounded by the captain. Here's Tabuse, guarded by Webb. Pass to Doc. Here's the captain. For the three, shots good by Tabuse. And the fireworks begin. Should be an amazing show tonight. How good is it to see the first one go through the net? Now, here's Ball. Passes to Webb. 16 feet away. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First personal foul. Greg, here we are watching Claxton. Uh, who does he remind you of? You know, Kevin, defensively, he looks a lot like AD out there. Similar builds. And, and Claxton can also handle the ball a little bit. Just want to see if this guy can develop an ability to play facing up to the basket. Here's Jackson Davis. Here's Tabuse. And there's a nice one-handed slam. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Now, here is Webb. Pass the ball. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. And just a fantastic run of games for him. A look at the Eastern Conference Player of the Week. And small forwards are asked to do so much in the modern NBA. And he just answers the call in every facet of the game. Tremendous numbers from him. And he is more than deserving of the award. Here's Tabuse. Turned in an outstanding game against New York. Here's Doc, and down it goes, jamming that one home. Oh, dynamic two-hand jam. Mm -hmm. And right in the face of the defender. The pass to Sharp, back to ball. New York moving the ball around. They set the pick. Shot to stop the run. Bain kicks to Webb. Knocks down the three ball. Tough to miss that man. Desmond Bain read the defense perfectly. Gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. Pass to Doc. Lets it go from deep. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answer each other from range. And they're able to recover. Here's Baisley. Passes it to Najee. Out of bounds, New York takes possession. New York ball. And here we have the 2K leaderboard showing us the teams with the best free throw percentage during the past month. And they've had a lot of success at the free throw line converting those at a high level. So I'd look for them to continue to attack the rim. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. Now, here is Webb. He's tightly guarded. And see, he had his momentum going forward, but really didn't need to lean in there. He was wide open. Pass to Don. There's the pass to the captain. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Tabuse. Hits the three-point bomb. Tabuse's got eight points. And what a way to start this game, dominating at both ends of the floor. They came in prepared, focused, and really jumped on the other team early. Now, here's Ball. Scoreless thus far. Outside, Bain. Not going to fall. Starting off slow, he misses his first three from the floor. Hit his foot. Kick. And the ref's whistling a kickball. Kick ball. 
you got to love strong defense, especially when it comes in the form of harsh rejections. Wow. And right out of the gate, trying to set the tone defensively, you got to love that energy. To the paint, here's Jackson Davis. And he uses the glass on the layup. Yes, oh, great ball Number movement 20. there. New York trails by 12. And so time New out, York calls time timeout. They're first. And as we're into the middle of the Started. season now, GA, how much of a rhythm are teams in for their day to day activities? I mean, most teams should have found their flow by now, and they know their rotations and guys are in the groove of the season. I mean, that's not the case for every team, unfortunately. And so now one's checked in for New York. And with the pause in the action, let's look at the numbers for Doc. He's averaging 20 points, five rebounds, and three assists. But to have a scorer like him consistently deliver you points makes such a big difference for a team. Because he gives you someone to build your offense around, you can count on his nightly production. Ball feeling it out of it. No good. They had a chance to end the run there. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Here's Tabuse, guarded by Bain. Shot clock at five. Over to the left wing. Shot from 16. And it's Baisley with the rebound. Easy chance for mid-range. Wouldn't be surprised to see them run that play again. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they shot the basketball. Outside, ball. Pass to Bain. It's hauled in by Jackson Davis. On 7 of 8 from the field to start the game. Very hot shooting. And Doug gets it to go. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. And so it's Ball who brings the ball up for New York. 17-point game. That mental toughness on the road. The arena was rocking, but they just got down to business and never let up. It was a terrific performance we got a chance to watch. They got into a nice rhythm and made smart adjustments along the way. Gone an incredible eight of nine from the field. From about 19 feet, passes it to Doc. Here's Tabuse, Allen defending. Here's the captain, off target from outside. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Ball, the pass to Baisley. Some nice passing by New York here. Payne looking around to end the drought. It's hauled in by Jackson Davis. And all quarter long, it's been the same story. Inconsistent with his offense. We've got 33 seconds left here in the first quarter. Pass to Tabuse. Here's the captain. Here's Doc. Good on the triple. Doc's got 11 points. Yeah, we're seeing some fireworks from them already. They established the pace. They made shots. This is why they're way out in front. Now, here's Bain. He's covered closely. And there's the drive. And the layup's good off the glass. I love the physicality behind Bain's drive. Letting the defense know he isn't changing course. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. So I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. At the line for the away team, number five. And the first one drops. He hits both from the stripe. We're at the end of the first quarter. What a blowout already in this one. Delivering the blowout. And will return shortly.
And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And looking at what we've seen so far, guys, from the visiting team, what do you think? I mean, the rebounding was the difference in that first period. You've got to block these guys out. Yes, you know this, GA. Back in our day, in any day, really, if you don't block out somebody, you will sit down. We've got Allen. And it's Bochamp in at the power four. That's the five for New York right now. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. I mean, that's a good job working the ball inside and getting a quality shot. Rev pulls it in. Here's Hendricks. Here's the floater. Score the basket, his second of two attempts. This could get even more out of hand if they continue to put up points. Wow, Kevin, what a performance we are seeing. The pass to McCoy. Here's McLeod. Drains it from beyond the arc. McLeod's got five now. I love that they're continuing to attack despite being up big. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They came in focused and they executed. To the middle. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. Man, just adding insult to injury. He just waltzes inside and extends this lead. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. It's deflected. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Olin. David. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Giannis Adentacupo could arguably be called the most feared slasher in league history. He says, I just tried to read the crowd, read the walls, and see where I can beat them. There's a second there that you can attack the scene and change your speed. I've done this 25 to 30 times every night, so I know what to look for. Kevin? He definitely does, David. A master at his craft. Hey, D.A., thanks for the report. Now, here is Webb. Back to ball. Trying his luck from deep. Webb can't hit. Gone three of their first five shots to drop here in the second quarter. And it's McCoy missing. And so it's ball with it. He brings it up for New York. Yeah, some history here, though. Of course, they won that first-round series in last year's playoffs and ended up sending them packing. Shut out in the first quarter. He's heating up now. I like the aggressiveness. Stolen by Webb. And it's blocked. And it's out of bounds to New York. They'll retain possession. And so it's New York with it. And there's the foul. It's on the way. That's his first foul. And Steve, with the way these NBA players can reach out to each other with ease, how much off-court communication do you think is going on? I think a lot is going on, Kevin. A lot of these players have been playing with each other or against each other from a long time since they were young in AAU. Uh, because of social media and also the Internet, it makes the world that much smaller. These guys communicate way more than we did. Like it too. New York needs to get off a shot. Great open look there. Ball's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Lonzo Ball is never in a rush, even when the shot clock is winding down. A three ball. It's rebounded by New York. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. It's good. Unselfish. Moving the ball. Love to see this kind of offense. And the ball at a 43% rate here in the second. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. No good again that time. New York trails by 16. And an intentional foul there, G.A. Uh, 
wish I could say why. <laughs> that one's pretty strange. I mean, no idea what got into his head right there. Wiggins is checked in for deep. Here's Baisley, still without a basket. Webb the pass to Sharp. There's a good screen. Payne for three. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Pass to McClellan. Wiggins with it. Basley on him. And that one's good. Wiggins. And this is why Wiggins has become an efficient scorer. Doing a much better job with his shot quality. And he loves now to attack inside. And he gets the bucket. Ball's got his second basket of the night. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Out to the wing. Jackson from long range. The rebound by Sharp. Sharp's got six rebounds now in the game. And now they decide to foul intention. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. Back to ball. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Six on the shot clock. Baisley. It's good. The assist that time from ball. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Stolen by ball. Oh, and there's the alley -oop. A slam dunk by Beasley. Nice speed from Lonzo Ball to the wide open man. He has a good eye for those openings. Here's to Boussaint. The rim rattling two handed jam. Oh, taking it to the rack with power, hammering down the two hand slam. One fifteen left to play here in the half. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. For New York, they have not yet made a free throw in the game 0 of 2 so far. And one of the highlights last year for this group was the fact that they were so efficient from the charity strike. That's a huge factor. Here's Tabuse. He's got 12. Now, how about breaking out the Statue of Liberty <laughs> on that dunk? A nice way to pad that lead a little more. You're right. New York with the ball. They're on a 15-6 run. This is it to Baisley. Now, here's Bain. Tight defense on him. Baisley, good. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Has to die. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. Yeah, he's in such a great rhythm right now. Makes sense to get him the ball any way you can. Let him decide whether to shoot it, whether to pass it. He's your catalyst right now. Sharp the pass the ball. Some nice passing by New York here from outside the arc. No good, and he's three of six from the floor. I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. Adding to this lead, he's been dependable and consistent at the offensive end. Outside, Bain. Outside, Ball. Now the pass to Baisley. Can't hit the free throw line jump. Miss opportunity. It's a makeable shot for him. He just can't get it to go. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. Up by 16. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Kevin, thanks. Coach, what has to happen to pull out the win? Well, we have to play through some of the tough times, okay? Whether it's a missed call or whether it's missed shots. Uh, this is a passionate game, and we got to stay the course. We'll see what happens. Thanks, Bo. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, David, and we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. Thanks for being with us. First off, 
how about we start with an update on the here's a hypothetical if you guys were in your prime today and could hop onto any team who would you pick hmm that's interesting ernie maybe i'd go back to houston i'd, I'd give them a boost the boost they need a, they need a jet you wouldn't give the rockets a boost you give them a malfunction uh houston we have a problem kenny's back no Kenny's they already back. have a problem i'd be the one to help solve that problem thank you i just enjoy sitting here listening and now let's talk about our game at hand what a first half for the visiting team i mean they've been raining threes whether the shot's open or contested, it's their game. You have to admire their confidence on their side of the ball, man. Can we just come to an agreement, the three of us? No more singing! And that's a halftime wrap. Let's get back to the second half with the call by Kevin Harlan and the crew. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Doc has been sensational. Yeah, it's been a great performance from him, really staying focused on quality shots. And many of those quality shots have been jumpers, a very high percentage of those in the first half. Here's who Adrian Griffin is starting the second half with. We've got the captain, and it's Doc in at the three, the small forward. Now, here is Webb. No good from 11 feet. The defense would a really good job of choking off the middle there once he got inside. Here is Doc. He's covered by ball. Oh, let's go home. That was just <laughs> ridiculous. I do not remember the last time I saw a dunk like that in a game. And and they're bringing you up close and personal on the AT&T 5G Slam Camp. Inside, here's Sharp. It's good. The assist that time from Ball. Ball's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Thing with confidence, wow, 66% from the floor. Pass to Doc. Here's Najee. Here is Doc. 19 points in the game. The captain, no good. And here is Webb. Down low. Here's Sharp. And he gets it to go. Sharp's got four points now in the quarter. Give credit where credit is due right there. A terrific assist. And it's a foul called on Doc. That is his first foul of the game. Personal foul. First team foul. Substitution for the away team. Number 73. Mitchell Wilder. Just over a minute and a half played here in the third. And that one is stuffed right through. A power flush with a long hang on the rim at the end of that. that could be, you know, that could be a catalyst for him. It really could. Here's the captain. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. First personal Anzo Ball picks one up. Team. The league is now, Greg, on any given night. We sometimes see a team fall flat. Number 20. Is it just Adam luck of the draw? Sometimes players are tired, and sometimes they relax. You know, this is why leadership is so vital. Setting that standard for others to follow. Right here, right here. Now, here's Sharp. Ball, the bounce pass. And it's Sharp missing on two of three from the field to start the second half. To the inside. Excellent D there from Ball. New York trails by 16. Pass to Baisley. Now 
Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Payne for three. Connects from three-point range. Payne's got five points so far. Beautiful mechanics from Desmond Bain. Doesn't need much time to get his shot off. Knock the pass to Tabuse. Gray T that time from Bain. For New York, they've gone four or six from the field since the start of the third. Plays it up off the glass. Bain's got five points now in the quarter. Great footwork from Bain, finding his opening. Here's Tabuse. Buries the long-range jumper. Just reliable, guys. He's just always trying to make the right play. And a wide-open look for Bain. Basket is good. The assist from Webb. Webb's got three assists now in this one. Third quarter action and just under three and a half minutes have gone. And Smitty, the last pick of the first round of that 2020 NBA draft. Desmond Bain loves proving the doubt is wrong. GA every season, he seems to take another lead. Now one of the league's premier three-point shooters and a terrific all-around player. New York trails by 13. the pass the ball and there's the foul it'll go on the captain that is his first foul of the game you know what tried to step in and cut him off but just didn't get there quick enough and the replay demonstrating <laughs> once again how aggressive that defense was and guys that is lockdown defense at its finest going right at the shot and then able to knock it away and new york making a change here allen's checked in now here's sharp Up top, Bain. Shot clock at six. It's tipped. Here's Tabuse. Here's Doc. And he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. Putting consistent pressure on this defense. Just the threat of him out there makes this offense work. Webb with it. He's got seven. Bain kicks to Webb. Side ball. New York, no good that time either. Gotten five of eight shots to fall for them in the third quarter. A nice 62% from the field. Took him no time at all on that one. Tabuse's got 21. New York trails by 17. Now Webb. And the call will be against D. That's his first foul. New York calls timeout. have a look at the league's top scores for the past month. To say these guys have been hot is an understatement. Take a look at Doc. Second in the league having an excellent season. And of course the captain. Another guy who can get a lot of points. Top five. What a threat both of these guys have proven to be especially over this stretch. Scoring machine. Two points. That one goes. And that's 12 points for Desmond Bain. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it? And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Excellent on both ends of that play. Yeah, the steal was sharp, but the slam topped it off. Turning defense into offense. Every coach talks about it. Perfect example right there. And that's the kind of lead pass we've come to expect from him. Here's Doc, and they immediately answer back with the dunk at the other end. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. Here's Hendricks. Pass the ball. Puts up a three. And again, New York with the triple. 
with slightly revised mechanics, Lonzo has become a more consistent threat from downtown. 54 seconds left to play in the third. And it's McCoy missing. New York trails by 14. Inside, Bain. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Bain's got 12 now in this quarter. This is the consistency he was looking for in the first half. Just took him a while to heat up. Here's McCoy. He takes it in. Basket counts. That makes it 10 of their last 12 coming from inside the paint. There's the triple. Oh, good that time. Here's the captain. He's covered by ball. A shot by McLeod. No good. On the wing, Bain. 14 points for him. And McCoy pulls it down. The defense is right there. Quality contest, and they threw him off his rhythm. Here's to Boucher. Banked in off the glass. Dubusse's got 23 points. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Up by 16. And right after this, we'll bring you the start of the final quarter right here on 2K Sports. Let's listen in on what Eric Spolstra had to say to his team. Trust each other. Let's get that ball moving. Ball moving. No holds. No holds. Well, moving the ball is so important to these coaches. I mean, it helps make the offense run smoothly, Kevin. When you move the ball, more scoring opportunities open up. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today. As we get going in quarter number four. We've got Webb, and it's Bochamp in at the power forward. That's the five for New York right now. Here's the captain. And the jumper is on the mark. New York trails by 18. And there's the pass to Hendricks. Here's Webb. The fadeaway J off the mark. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. And he throws it down hard with one hand. Yes, it's impressive the level of domination at both ends and you're seeing the results especially considering it's on the road in front of a tough crowd they've been able to block out the distractions their game plan needs to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he is just not there offensively fantastic ball movement they're picking them apart with their passing they've been looking out of sync offensively yeah the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill the captain passes to McCoy here's the captain Allen defending hey, yo, right here. pass to Doc to the middle beautiful dish and the layup goes down Doc's got four points this quarter just impressed with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. New York calls timeout. And GA start next season. Some big repeat penalties for teams well over the camp. That draft pick penalty is especially tough. Yeah, I mean, if a team is over that 17 and a half million mark twice in a four-year span, their first round draft pick falls to the end of the first round. That was steep. Lonzo Ball is checked in for New York. Corner threes get the bench going. Lonzo Ball knocked it down from there. Shoots a three. And it's McCoy missing. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for New York. That'll be the latter half of this two-game homestand. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Strong move by Lonzo. He has the size to take the contact and complete the play. And that one misses. Gone an outstanding 4 of 5 from the field in the fourth quarter so far. Bucket is good. Tabusay's got 25 points in the game. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Fires the three. It's rebounded by Doc. 
And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Shot goes down. Number Very five. quick possession right Six there. Knox wow. got 12 points in just the second half. Mark, 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 Mark. Passes it to Hendricks. Some nice passing by New York here. Here's Webb. Oh, oh yes. I tell you what, he's showing some real courage going to the reverse in that situation. You know, I, I don't think he knows you're not supposed to do that in traffic. <laughs> Here's to Busse. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. And how about just floating to the rim on that slam? Boy, when he gets up, I mean, he gets up. Ball, the pass to Webb. Puts up a deep three. It's rebounded by Doc. Doc's got five rebounds tonight. I don't know how many shots he's missed this quarter, but they're going to have to find offense from someone else. Any chance you get, you want to put yourself in a position to succeed, and that's what he did there. Great job of reading the floor, got to the rim, and made a play. Kevin, is there another player out there capable of moves as stunning as that? On a handful at the most, he is an elite company. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. So both teams making some changes here. All right, the NBA already has a team in Canada, a G League team in Mexico. Could we see a team in Europe, you think, Steve? Kevin, we've had games in pairs. London recently. It'd be really hard travel-wise on these guys flying all the way over to Europe. It's rebounded by New York. Ball kicks to Bain. Pass to Webb. A step-back shot here. Unable to get that one. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. To the left side wing. Wiggins against Bain. McCoy passes to Tabuse. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Lonzo Ball picks one up. And the first one at the line is good. Tabuse. Two shots. Both shots good from the stripe. Now, here is Webb. Three-pointer on the way. That shot off. Coming out of halftime, he wanted to start strong, yet the opposite happened. Shot's good by Tabuse. Tabuse has got 34 points. And when he gets in his head that he's going to get to the basket, very little you can do defensively. Off the run. Oh, and he almost had a four-point play right there. He'll go to the line with a chance for three. Second team. It's going to be on Andrew Wiggins. He's off on the first. We love the fact that the NBA is constantly evolving. Greg, what have you thought of the recent schedule adjustments? I think the league's done a great job cutting down on the back-to-backs. And also, I like these two-game, like, baseball-style series we've seen. Limiting travel helps big time. He just can't buy a free throw, and you can tell it's getting to him. Out of bounds, New York takes possession. And that's just a risky play to make a heave like that. Not, not worth it. And so here is New York. 136 left in the game. Here's Ball. What a terrific move that one. Got to appreciate how aggressive Lonzo is. When he's feeling it, he keeps on shooting. Here's Tabuse, guarded by Bain. Yes, that goes in. That one just took the air right out of the crowd. There is no noise in the stands right now. And here is Webb. Can't connect from long distance. They better clear a spot on the bench for him because that's where he's headed 
if he continues to take shots like that. Yes, he is definitely going to the bench and maybe to the locker room. Shots good by Tabuse. And that's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the glass. Reason why, lack of focus, lack of communication, which led to second chance points. Now, here is Wentz. Can't connect from 14 feet out. And there hasn't been anything easy for him in this period. And you've seen they've made numerous attempts to try to get him going. Shows how valuable he is to this offense. There's 37 seconds left in the fourth. Another shot. It doesn't go for him. Out left to the wing, and the pass to Tabuse. Wiggins outside. Five to shoot. Shots good by Tabuse. Tabuse's got 42 in the game. Taking no chances. They go on one last run to seal the deal. Not messing around at all. They were focused, relentless, and they got the job done. The visiting club takes the win on the road. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Alden, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. Right now, let's take a look at the New Balance Player of the Game.